to Vena and our workshop about the Flex project and how to become a flexibility market and balancing service provider and save make money out of it. I will start uh, with the agenda to here for some logistic reasons. We will start with um, our sustainable development strategy presented by Krasimir Stianova. Then Dimitar Stanev will present the XPLEX project and our part in it. Then our colleagues from SO, um, Stefan Sulakov namely, will tell us how to make money out of uh, the balancing services. Then we'll have uh, short demonstrations of the tools of the XPLEX and we'll have a coffee break. That will be all with the presentations. Then we will um, show you our boiler room in this hotel, Paradise Blue, and we will go up and see the solar panels as well. Uh, then the bus will be waiting for us at 12, uh, at 15 past uh, 12. We'll go to our biogas power plant in uh, it's 15 kilometers away. And uh, we'll have a trip there. We'll show you our facilities there. And then we'll come back here for a networking cocktail and show you also the battery at Flamingo Brand. Now, I would like to invite my colleague, Krasimir Stianova, to present the sustainability strategy. Thank you, Denny. Uh, thank you all for uh, coming to Albana Resort and uh, giving us a chance to introduce uh, a little bit uh, of what we have already achieved uh, for the last uh, uh, five, uh, six years in turning this uh, wonderful place uh, into uh, the most sustainable uh, resorts uh, in Bulgaria. Uh, I will start uh, a little bit with um, uh, history. What made us, uh, Danny, I'm sorry, but I'm, okay. Uh, what made us uh, really um, uh, develop uh, this strategy and work on it uh, for many years is actually our location. We are situated on the Black Sea coast of Bulgaria, but moreover, we are situated on one of the best beaches in Bulgaria, and not even in Bulgaria, but I would say in Europe, which is six kilometers long, 150 meters wide, gently sloping towards the sea, and a perfect place for family holiday. Together with this, actually, we are situated on the territory of National Reserve which is protected forest Baltica, uh, which is Liana tree forest, uh, birthplace and living place for more than 180 species of birds, another 90 species of mammals and other animals. And uh, having this, of course, we were obliged to protect uh, what we have as the biggest asset. Uh, this is the natural resources. So having this beach, being situated on the territory of the National Reserve, having the chance to privatize and keep the entity of the result as one whole living uh, uh, entity and not having different hotels and different owners and uh, infrastructure and different owners, uh, um, restaurant different owner, but keeping all under one uh, centralized management, uh, having three mineral water springs of our own disposal within the resort, uh, led us to the moment that we created our own sustainable development strategy. Uh, it consists of uh, 14 different steps uh, we developed uh, starting uh, on the 21st of September 2017. Of course, the first of them were uh, protecting the biodiversity, but also we, uh, this, these are the first uh, moments that we uh, took our uh, first steps on the long path of uh, uh, energy transition, reaching to the point of having 50% our own renewable energy production. Uh, we had, uh, we went through waste management, we went through health and safety, we went to beach cleanness, we went to CO2 remission, and I will give you a, a short information on each of those steps. Uh, of course, uh, uh, engineer Dimitar Stanev and Denisa Kuzeva and my colleagues uh, during the networking, uh, including me, we will answer if you would need more specific information if any, uh, in any of the steps. 
but I'll just shortly mention all of them. So, uh, what are the main achievements uh, we can report as of 22 uh, in terms of renewable energy? I would even tell you more. Uh, the achievements we had led to the moment that we were appointed the best example within all companies in Bulgaria in terms of energy transition and transport electrification. We were appointed to showcase what we did for all those years uh, during the week of climate in Stockholm, as uh, the Nitsakuseva person personally were there. So we can already boast 50% renewable energy production from rooftop photovoltaics, from the biogas plant we will uh, see in the afternoon, and also using the thermal, uh, solar thermal installations we have. After starting producing energy, one of our first European projects was actually working on a battery to store the energy. After that, we implemented the SCADA electrical grid monitoring system. We implemented uh, heat controllable boiler systems and pump installations for those. So we worked on two Horizon 2020 projects. Uh, uh, from the European uh, Union, supported by the European Union. The first of them was in Fate, uh, uh, that included 12 partners from six countries, so we being one of those. And the second project we are reporting on right now, this is uh, the XFlex uh, Flexibility Energy uh, Management uh, System. Uh, we also, uh, during this year, we uh, uh, implemented a biogas uh, power plant, which originally was uh, producing biogas from silage uh, um, maize. Uh, but at this moment, we utilize the leftover from our restaurants to further close our circular economy. But this would be our last topic in this presentation. Uh, what uh, the main achievements in the... Um, waste management uh, 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 strategy that we also implemented uh, uh, was uh, the process of uh, installation, the process of waste segregation, uh, recycling. Uh, maybe it would be interesting for you to know that statistically about 30% of, of what we put on the all-inclusive and then is then left over. Uh, of course, to have a chance to use this leftover to produce green energy is something very special for us. And I really believe it's also special for our guests. As uh, this is also one of our step, uh, of the steps of the farm to fork strategy we have also implemented and also part of our zero waste strategy we implemented for our guests in the resort. Uh, we will uh, have the chance uh, later on to see how it uh, actually works uh, as uh, our afternoon program includes uh, the visit of uh, the biogas plant. So there the colleagues will be more uh, informative about the process of uh, uh, utilizing this uh, waste. Uh, here we have, uh, um, uh, let's say, uh, some figures on uh, the tons of uh, waste we use. Uh, I will just mention that uh, we have much more capacity than actually we have the waste. So we can even treat the waste of our neighbors at this moment, which is also very important in uh, developing the whole destination of Bulgarian Black Sea Coast, a uh, sustainable destination which is a big benefit uh, to family holiday makers, uh, which are the major customers with us. We get, uh, we have a lot of efforts uh, in terms of sport and wellness. And I would like that the biggest achievement, uh, to mention that the biggest achievement in those efforts is us being awarded first ever in history, European resort of sport. So before us, uh, there were uh, cities of sport, there were capitals of sports, but since we don't have any local population living in the resort, we are only a holiday making destination. We were in 2019 awarded first uh, ever European resort of sport. So in 2019, we held uh, five European championships uh, and uh, we are still uh, since then 
keeping the word uh, and uh, naming ourselves European Resort of Sport, having more than 150 sport uh, competitions every year. Uh, just in two days, we start the European Snooker Championship here in Peronica Hall at Albana Resort. So we have developed a lot of uh, facilities uh, for our guests um, to uh, uh, have in their uh, sport uh, and health, uh, healthy lifestyle program while being during the resort. This includes tennis center, Albana. This includes eight professional football fields, uh, crossfit playgrounds, uh, magnificent yoga spots where we have real energetic places combining forests, rivers, sea and beach. Uh, we also have uh, a petang playgrounds and we have been host of two times of the European Petang Championship. And uh, since last year, we also had World Pentathlon Championship. More information on this I will give you during our uh, wine tasting, just to not keep you uh, uh, too informed at this moment uh, because I need to go through every step of this but uh, if I would come back to what is the biggest asset of Albena this is our nature this is what actually we really want to give to our customers a real experience of nature how we do this through uh, protection of biodiversity having the the magnificent forest of Baltata Natural Reserve, and I really recommend you all go through it. You all enjoy now the yellow iris, uh, the rare uh, uh, plants uh, growing uh, now. Enjoy the, uh, the uh, songs of the birds. Uh, it is also uh, uh, the place where we have a crossroad of three roads of Via Pontica. So we have a lot of uh, birds uh, coming from the south during their nesting period here. This includes white and gray heron. This includes the black stork. And uh, uh, we were obliged uh, at uh, one point to develop European project to protect the biodiversity, to keep the forest living by uh, letting um, what is acceptable of only 16% of dying woods uh, to keep the forest alive. But we also include this uh, in the everyday life of our guests, uh, letting them basically interact with nature, being on a summer seaside holiday resort. <clears throat> so we have developed uh, paths uh, and viewpoints uh, in Baltica uh, just uh, to let them uh, enjoy what we have as our biggest asset. And we have also uh, implemented green parkings, basically uh, urging our guests to leave their cars outside of the resort. Uh, we, uh, for about parking policy and the green parkings, I will tell you a little bit more now. Uh, but uh, the second biggest asset we have, uh, or is it the first? I don't know. But basically, the beach and the forest and the wonderful combination of this. Uh, made us 27 years in a row receive the prestigious Blue Flag Award, which actually means that we answer all the 15 criteria which French uh, invented uh, developing this Blue Flag Award. It's not only ecological management of the beach, it's not only uh, taking samples of the water to prove that we are clean at all the time, but also implementing our own laboratory to collect those samples from the beach and from the waters uh, in the pool, uh, making it a little bit uh, more uh, nice uh, as an environment for our guests as having it absolutely smoking free area um, and uh, developing our uh, water treatment plan as well. So all those uh, achievements in terms of uh, beach, uh, sea, and water cleanness are also part of our sustainable development strategy. Uh, health and safety uh, is uh, what was to follow from the previous strategies uh, that we had. And I can really um, openly say that we were one of the best places that offer holiday to uh, guests uh, even in the dangerous uh, post-COVID years. Why is that? We have implemented no room increasement strategy and we construct new hotels on the place of existing already ones. And thus here where we have uh, our first uh, Dorostor Hotel, 
we constructed new maritime paradise blue and the next door hotel Amelia was on the place of uh, existing Druzhba. The same is the example with uh, Praga and Bratislava and Flamingo Grant and Flamingo Four Star. So we have kept the ratio of uh, the necessary square meters in the parks and the gardens of Albena and the same on the beach. So basically, even now, when there is no need to keep your social distancing, we are absolutely guaranteeing that you are allowed and it is also possible in Albana to do that. Basically, on the beach, you have 24 square meters for your own use because the one umbrella uh, and two sun beds we offer for every single room gives you enough space to do that. Uh, this uh, is uh, our uh, providing safe environment policy, also part of our car traffic restriction, uh, also means that you will not have children running and cars driving at the same time. And uh, I would also like to mention that we were the first company in Bulgaria to install air quality control system and to prove our uh, Sofia, Plovdiv and other cities uh, guess that we have 100% green air and they're absolutely welcome here when they have pollution in their cities and the uh, air is not quite good. Uh, this all led to having a uh, guest satisfaction guarantee. This is a big uh, uh, advantage for Albana and we can really boast that uh, just uh, some two weeks ago, uh, according to the rating of TripAdvisor, Maritime Paradise Blue was declared best hotel in Bulgaria on the Black Sea coast. And moreover, we have one other hotel in this rating. It's on the fifth place, but uh, Gergana Beach is also being awarded one of the best hotels in the most famous TripAdvisor rating, which means that all those steps that we led uh, uh, since 2017 reaching 2023, uh, for our sustainable development strategy was uh, awarded by our guests uh, and now we can boast 100% recommendation guarantee not only in Maritime Hotel Paradise Blue but also in White Lagoon and in Maritime Hotel Amelia. We are also uh, um, having top 8 aqua park in Europe uh, according uh, again to TripAdvisor uh, moreover, uh, we uh, let guests uh, living in the next door hotel benefit of this aqua park free of charge or included in the price of their accommodation. So basically, we give our chance, our guests a chance to spend uh, whole their vacation either on the beach of Albana or uh, in the next door hotels where they can find more kids' attractions. Well, about uh, social responsibility, I would only mention that I'm working in Albana 22 years in a row. So I think this uh, speaks enough. Uh, uh, so we have a lot of projects uh, to develop uh, uh, with our colleagues and staff, uh, including uh, trainings of our guests, uh, of our employees uh, in the uh, partner hotels uh, of Maritime in Germany during the off season. Uh, which uh, also gives uh, us uh, a chance to uphold to the highest standard of the German chain, which is uh, partnering uh, with uh, two of our hotels uh, and the only one in Bulgaria. Uh, so uh, to come back to the CO2 uh, emission reduction, uh, this is another step we have uh, made uh, to keep the uh, appearance of our resort really resort-like. Uh, 54 years ago, when uh, actually the first steps of Albena uh, began, uh, most of our guests used to arrive with uh, buses. And now, uh, during the, uh, the, the last years, so we have slight uh, different uh, uh, marketing mix. Uh, so we have some people arriving to our resort by cars, especially uh, those that are having uh, congress and sports events, uh, which include... Uh, Bulgarian participants as well. So what we did, uh, we actually uh, gave a chance to our guests to leave their cars outside of the resort, just by the entrance, where we have a bus station, uh, car parking, uh, 
Uh, and uh, of course, we allow the guests to park um, within the resort, but the further they go towards the sea, the most expensive their parking becomes. <clears throat> In this way, we have also left absolutely car restricted area to the most magnificent place where we have combination of our beach, part of the forest, river Batuva flowing into the sea by Gargana Hotel. So there is absolutely uh, no car traffic there. Uh, people can commute using our electric and transport. Uh, those uh, you will see, of course, also later because we will use one of our electrical buses to go to our gardens of uh, Equagro and to the biogas plant in Perpetuum Mobile. But besides the uh, electrical shuttle buses, we also have uh, constructed open air escalator, which brings our guests from the park hotels just for three minutes down to the beach. Um, this is a map of the resort uh, showing the, the zones that we have uh, uh, in terms of parking. We have uh, one uh, absolutely free of charge parking uh, place uh, here outside of the resort in the other corner. The most, uh, the cheapest parking is here by the entrance of the resort at our bus station. And it is also a place that, uh, of one of our future sustainable development strategy goals when uh, we are planning to install uh, photovoltaics here in these parkings as well. And then uh, the further you would like to park uh, by the beach, uh, uh, the uh, more uh, expensive this becomes for you. Uh, of course, if you are with a camper, this is not that dramatic because we offer you actually a beach uh, front camping location, but um, uh, you're absolutely uh, free to enjoy uh, the places we have uh, reserved for you. Uh, this is a photo of the escalator and the bus. Uh, 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 Basically, the budget hotels that we have in the park area uh, are uh, not that uh, far away from the beach. If they take escalator, it takes them only three minutes to go down. Well, I mentioned two of our biggest uh, natural resources uh, assets that we have, and the third is the mineral water. We can boast of our own concession of three mineral uh, water sources within the resort, and we urge people to use all benefits from this uh, mineral water that they can. We are constantly monitoring the quality of this water. You, we are using our own treatment plan and system to purify the waters in terms of using it as tap water, but we are using 100% the mineral content of those to fill our mineral water pools. Of course, we use uh, uh, we use uh, the, the natural resources of the mineral water uh, and the healing effects of it uh, by implementing it in medical treatment programs, combining it with um, the curative mat we have from the Varna Salty Lake uh, with the conventional medicine, like um, manual therapy, uh, like uh, um, individual and group gymnastics. Uh, but uh, 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 people can, of course, buy treatment programs, uh, uh, arthritic, uh, treating arthritic diseases, diseases of the peripheral and the central nervous systems, some uh, pulmonary diseases, some skin diseases like psoriasis, and uh, uh, stress and obesity. Uh, of course, uh, people are not necessarily uh, obliged to buy a medical program. They can just get the beneficial effect of uh, swimming in mineral water and swimming in any of our mineral water pools, including the semi-Olympic pool we have in Dobruja Hotel. Now, I will uh, skip the part of our uh, own uh, ecological production, and this would be the topic during our excursion going to uh, the gardens of Albena, I will mention that at this point, we produce 60% from the fruit and vegetables, wine and juices, uh, soft, uh, strong alcoholic drink, honey and, uh, drinks, honey and jam. Our guests eat within the resort. We started from small, just having our guests eating fresh cherries during their 
meals in the main restaurants. Now we have 60 acres of cherries, but more of this during our excursions. Uh, we, uh, we have uh, uh, on top of the fruit and vegetables, the drinks, uh, uh, the honey, the jams. Uh, we also uh, produce um, snails, which uh, led us to the fact uh, that uh, we had uh, uh, one of our French club hotels three years in a row, best restaurant within all uh, club hotels uh, in Lukia, um, uh palette of services from our French partner. And uh, we produce Angus Aberdeen and Galloway. And I will personally introduce you today to our uh, cattle in the farms uh, uh, that we are going to visit in the afternoon. Uh, and of course, I will let you try uh, some small portion of our 100 tons of wine we produce uh, per year and tell you a little bit more of the varieties of wine, of wine growing regions in Bulgaria and the sunshine in a bottle, as we call it. Uh, all our efforts um, have been awarded uh, by different certificates uh, during the years, uh, uh, including uh, um, the Travel Life Award, including the ISO certificates, uh, including two certificates for our medical uh, center and uh, the award, the uh, leading uh, medical and wellness hotels and resorts award. But uh, we have also implemented and what was the, the most important for us, uh, uh, this is uh, the communication strategy with our guests, because the biggest award that we will actually ever receive, this is the um, repeatedness of our guests that uh, about uh, uh, more than actually more than 30 percent of uh, those come to visit us every other year uh, we have uh, also um, used um, our achievements to implement the quality certificate for this 100 percent of Vena, so that our guests uh, are familiar that uh, actually uh, what uh, we give them as an experience is not only uh, uh local not only our own production but it is only uh, also uh, brought from a range of 15 kilometers uh, within the resort uh, well as uh, future plans of our sustainability we will uh, further on work on uh, closing our circle or economy uh, having uh, all uh, daughter companies uh, like EcoAgro producing for us, like Perpetuum Mobile utilizing our waste, uh, like tour operators, uh, 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 tour operator from Ingoters in Germany uh, bringing dedicated guests here to benefit of European result of sport. All this uh, was uh, only to support the main business of our group, and this is tourism. So what we have now is we have agricultural production uh, feeding 60% of the restaurants in our hotels. Waste over, uh, leftovers and waste being treated in the biogas plant. Site production from producing of biogas, uh, hot water, which again grows in, uh, goes in our greenhouses, uh, and uh, organic fertilizers, which, grow, uh, which goes in our Albana gardens. So we will further on work on closing the circular economy of Albana. And uh, I would, uh, at this moment, thank you so much for your attention and pass uh, to engineer Dimitar Stane for Denitsa to tell you a little bit more about our future plans and the circular economy, but first report what we did for XFlex. Thank you so much. and informative um, first to explain a little bit about xflex we'll show you a video about the whole picture of the project and then uh, my colleague dimitar stanev will jump into our pilot and uh, what we do in the in the project Renewable energies play an increasingly important role in the Europe. One second. Again. 
renewable energies play an increasingly important role in the European Union and its fight for decarbonisation. Although they still have a drawback, their variable nature generates a certain insecurity as they cannot guarantee a stable supply. Therefore, the need for more flexible electricity markets is increasingly urgent. To solve these challenges, the XFlex Horizon 2020 project was born, serving all stages of the energy value chain, from generation to consumption, through transport and marketing. Eleven European partners, led by the Spanish company Entra, work hand-in-hand -hand to develop a set of solutions that facilitate the integration of renewable energy sources and other decentralized assets, leading to a more secure, flexible and sustainable network. What are these solutions? Serviflex enables flexibility managers to optimally leverage the value of flexibility from the different flexible sources. Gridflex allows network and microgrid operators to monitor the grid in a simple and safe way, responding to supply quality problems. Marketflex, it is the tool that end consumers and intermediaries use to access the energy market and interact with wholesalers and distributors. And everything coordinated with the XFlex platform. XFlex solutions will be demonstrated in four pilots adapted to different needs, as in Slovenia, in the remote alpine village of Luce, facilitating the flexibility management of a local energy community through the use of batteries, electric vehicles and photovoltaic and wind systems, or at the town of Raunina Koroškem, also in Slovenia, where the management of a heat network is incorporated, thus improving the stability of the supply network. In Bulgaria, the city of Albena, where the management of a microgrid is improved, creating in turn new models and market mechanisms. Lastly, in Greece, at Santi, which has opted for storage of optimal management of renewable energy sources and the reinforcement of a network to face problems caused by adverse weather conditions. Hexflex is clearly framed within the objectives of the European Union to be climate neutral in 2050 where renewable energy is presented as a sustainable and safe alternative. All right, now my colleague Dimitar Stanev will tell you more about how we do our self-optimization and how we use the tools, the XFlex tools, to manage our energy system. Thank you, Danny. Um, hi, everyone. Um, it's great to have you here. Uh, you're mostly welcome in Albena. Um, hello to also to our uh, online audience. Uh, it's great to have you there, uh, comfortable at your places. I would like to explain a little bit more about our pilot in Albena. Uh, first, we have seen um, our sustainable development strategy. It, st it started back in 2017 um, with, um, with a project called Invade. And uh, in 2020, we continued the work of uh, this project with XFlex. The next flex Albena is a pilot, so we demonstrate the tools that are being developed uh, from our partners. We are proud to be partners uh, with all these companies, and uh, one of them is the Bulgarian National Transmission System Operator, uh, in which cooperation we would like to try and to uh, contribute to the grid stability of uh, the national and the European electrical grid. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's dive in into the uh, into the um, uh, into Xflex. What is all about our pilot? We have seen that uh, a lot of renewable energy is penetrating in the, into the energy systems nowadays, but it's uh, highly uh, volatile, and the energy needs in order to be safe, to be uh, uh, to be reliable, it needs to be stored. So basically, we are trying to make storages, some kind of storages. We have thermal storage, we have uh, yeah, uh, electrical storage, and uh, the way we use, the, use them 
is um, is the most important uh, thing about the stability. So uh, yes, in our uh, pilot, uh, we are um, we are uh, controlling this uh, storages with with it, with the Xflex platform. So what is uh, about what's Albena? We have seen it's a, it's like a small city in summer. We are accommodating more than twenty thousand people. Um, the the problem from the energy perspective is that. Uh, the the work of Albany is seasonal, so it's full only in uh, summer, and the energy fluctuates uh, for during the during the year, and so does the customers. So basically, even if we install a lot of photovoltaic or a lot of biogas or a lot of uh, whatever, this energy will be excess in the in the autumn, winter, and spring. So the problem is, what can we do with this energy? Yes, so the Xflex solutions help us to uh, to optimize this uh, this um, energy control and to bring also benefits not only for us but also for the transmission system operator. With the two Seriflex and Mar uh, Marketflex, we uh, control batteries and uh, and boilers. Later we will see them. Uh, and also, these uh, optimizations are based on the day ahead markets and the uh, intraday uh, markets in Bulgaria, which is also very well connected to the European markets. Um, one of the most important things is the provision of ancillary services to the transmission system operator. This means that um, hoteliers like us are capable of um, providing service to the transmission system operators and get paid for it. Later, uh, our partners from ESO will explain in details how, how this is possible. Now I would like to explain what uh, what are the technical requirements of a hotelier or other company which uh, can uh, make uh, use of some storages in order to provide them to the to the to the market. So what we have, uh, yes, we have well, we are hoteliers, so in a hotel we need hot water, and this hot water can be uh, prepared either at the moment of use, or can be prepared a little bit earlier, to be so so it can be used at once uh, after the tourists come back from beach. So in our case, we have a lot of boilers. Those boilers are uh, in boiler stations. Each hotel has one boiler station. And in these uh, boilers, we can store electrical energy in form of thermal energy. This concept is called power to heat. And when do we power? Uh, we use power to heat water whenever there is excess power. This is uh, this can be seen also on the markets uh, because when there is excess uh, power or energy, then the prices go down. In this case, Albena benefits from this because we use a lot of uh, cheap energy to uh, to get uh, warm water for the tourists. Uh, it is very, very easy to get this. Um, the boiler station needs only one controller that um, switches on and switches off the, the boilers, which is really, 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 um, well, uh, simple. The boilers look like this. They are uh, big, big and small boilers on the market. Uh, in our case, they are uh, around 1,500 liters. Um, we also bigger, but we also have smaller. Uh, so depending on the installation, depending on the, the place, uh, each hotelier can choose the installation for, for themselves. So um, yes, we also, in the last uh, year, we invested in a lot of photovoltaic installations. Most of our hotels are equipped, equipped either with photovoltaic or solar panels for hot water. So uh, we have um, more than two megawatts of installed power for solar thermal and around 1.5 megawatts for photovoltaic. On the next slide, we will see also the biogas station here on the left and the battery which we uh, which we bought uh, um, within the framework of uh, the previous project in which was also a horizon 2020 project 
uh, all those devices we will uh, visit right after the presentations. Now let's get some numbers. Here on this graphic, we can see we can see the the prices on the Bulgarian day ahead market uh, for twenty. I, I believe it was twenty sixth or twenty seventh of July uh, last year. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, this year, uh, April. No, 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 April. Last year. Yeah. Okay, sorry about <laughs> it. So yeah, and um, in uh, in blue we can see the thermal energy, the thermal energy that was, uh, the, uh, sorry, the electrical energy that was used to heat up the boilers. So uh, without any optimization, we can see that the boilers run all the time with some kind of an average, almost 40 kilowatts. And the hoteliers pay their bill based on these prices. So we can see in the cost for this energy in, in the red. So we can see that right after the tourists come back from beach and go to shower, a lot of uh, energy is being used. But most, more important is actually that the price, the price goes high. And this creates higher costs. On the next slide, we can, we can see that now the boilers run uh, not so not so um, often. They uh, work like um, eight hours or yeah, uh, ten hours a day, and mostly in the uh, time period where we have low prices. And they don't work. They don't heat uh, water when the prices are very high. So our cost, our cost, with optimization, in green is a what? really a lot lot uh, smaller than the cost without optimization so each day we save a lot of money the environment saves a lot of uh, co2 because this energy comes mostly from photovoltaics which are distributed in the european network and the photovoltaics and the renewables are the reason why the prices go down so basically yes we we uh, benefit we um, we have we have lower costs and we say we we, yeah, we save a lot of money and we save a lot of co2 emissions and we only need yeah uh, we only need a controller to control the the, the boilers and some system in our case x flex which uh, which sends us signals when to work and went to not to do anything. So uh, later we will uh, see all these installations. I thank you for your attention and uh, we'll be glad to answer your questions if you have any. If not right now, then I'm uh, absolutely sure you'll have questions during the during the meet, during the visit of the installations. Yeah. Also, during the demonstrations, we'll have a Q&A if anyone would like to ask a question. Uh, now we learned how, how to save money with uh, the XFlex solutions and the self-optimizations uh, with the prices of electricity and the energy consumption. And now I would like to invite my colleague our colleague uh, Stefan Sulakov uh, from ESO. Hi, Stefan. Hi, Ganitza. Hi, everyone. Uh, my presentation is about balancing market uh, functionalities and the role of our customers in the context of energy transition. Next slide, please. As you know, the energy transition started, and uh, this creates challenges in integration with renewables related to the main characteristics of the most common technologies, wind and solar, their viability and consumption. These characteristics of renewables present technical, operational, and financial challenges to integrate them into the power system. At the same time, 
conventional power plants uh, using high emissions primary energy is supposed to start to be phased out. However, unlike renewables, they provide balancing services to TSOs to make them frequency and power balanced. Next slide, please. We have four types of uh, frequency dependent uh, balancing services frequency containment reserve, that is uh, frequency adjustment of the active power setting in the model controller. Automatic frequency restoration reserve is the automatic change of active power of the models input in the regulation within the secondary regulation range according to the set point sent by the automatic generation control of uh, TSO. The third reserve is uh, manually frequency restoration reserve implemented by means of uh, instructions from TSO to manually trigger by changing the base operating point of the model. And the last reserve is the replacement reserve. Uh, the name uh, replaces because it replaces uh, uh, activated uh, automatic and manually frequency restoration reserves. <coughs> Next slide. Now they activated. Uh, in case of occurrence of disturbance, first is activated uh, frequency containment reserve within less than 30 seconds. Then is activated uh, automatic frequency restoration reserves, supported by manual frequency restoration reserve till the 15 minute, and they are replaced by replacement reserve for 15 minutes or more. Next slide. The size of so the reserves is defined by different uh, approaches. Frequency containment reserve shall be calculated by dividing the sum of the net electricity generation and consumption of the control area by the sum of the net electricity generation and consumption of the community Europe synchronous area for a period of one year multiplied by the total primary regulation reserve for the Continental Europe synchronous area. Automatic frequency restoration result is calculated by this uh, diagram that you see. Next slide. Manual frequency restoration result is sized according to the reference outage in the control area that may occur in the power system in case of emergency shutdown of the largest generating or consuming unit or in the connector with the largest active power port. For Bulgaria, this is the biggest uh, unit in nuclear power plant control uh, 1,000 megawatts. Replacement reserve, this is the part of the spinning reserve of the modules operating in parallel to the power system that is not included in the provision of the previous reserves. Modules that can be synchronized and reach the needed power within 15 minutes. A range of electric load changes that can be implemented after dispatch order. Reserve capacity in order power system, which may be made available on request by the TSO under bilateral agreements or by the relevant M3 European balancing platform. Next slide. In this slide is presented the bit uh, characteristics uh, according to electricity balancing uh, guidelines regulation. The first characteristic is values, minimum quantity, granularity of sets, minimum divisibility, location uh, in, in which uh, market area, direction of the capacity, report or downward, validity period. Minimum duration between the end of the activation period and the following activation. On the right, you can see balancing capacity contracting period. Period is uh, 24 hours. They are hit. 
that can be fitted in several mobility periods. How is activated the reserve? First is the requested power by TSO. Then we have our preparation time, no more than 2 minutes and 30 seconds. After that is the ramping period. period. Then we have a delivery period that can be scheduled activation or uh, defined by TSO. And after that we have a ramping down period and minimum duration between the end of the deactivation period and the following activation. Next slide, please. On this slide, I presented the basic uh, characteristic of uh, balancing capacity market. We have procurement process, obligations, and responsibilities. Uh, the process starts uh, with uh, Requalification process, testing the new technical requirements for each type of reserve, inclusion after that in the register of uh, balancing services providers, they have tendering for balancing capacity, ranking in ascending order of price, pay speech throughout uh, the contract period, regardless of activation, the possibility of secondary market between suppliers subject to timely notification to the TSO. Ranking suppliers are obliged to provide uh, corresponding balancing energy bits. And activated uh, balancing energy offers are uh, trading schedule between the TSO and the uh, relevant balancing services provider, which is added to the trading schedule of the same. Provider any deviation from the cumulative schedule constituting an imbalance. Next slide. On this slide, uh, I presented the possibility, uh, possible assets that can provide flexibility and reserves to balancing market. Prosumer uh, is a market participant that uses, provides the flexibility of its installations, facilities to participate in different market segments in order to minimize uh, cost and minimize revenues from electricity trading. Maximize revenue from electricity trading. Uh, you can see that uh, air conditioning, heating, water heating, uh, lighting, and new technology batteries, electrical vehicles can provide uh, such services and any other additional loading, downloading without uh, discrediting their main usage. Next one, please. Um, flexibility installations categories based on their reaction time are increased, increased uh, consumption during specific times of the day, efficient load redistribution, TSOs use them to mitigate load variation and renewables. Dispatch for the next few hours to achieve the adequacy for forecast peak loads can be the rapid response to unforeseen and emergency situation. And finally, capable to, to providing fast and uh, continuous uh, uh, backup reserve to power system within minutes to seconds. Next slide, please. What are the options for consumer? to participate on the electricity market. Uh, first of all, prosumer should define uh, which assets, with, by which uh, assets uh, want to provide flexibility, cooling system, production process, heat pump, solar, and etc. And uh, this flexibility is provided uh, to aggregator, through aggregator, to balancing responsible parties for 
flexibility for portfolio optimization to GSO for grid management and to TSO to maintain power system balance. Next slide, please. In more detail, the uh, flexibility can uh, pro uh, provide to constraint uh, management. This is voltage con control, grid capacity management, congestion management, and controlled islanding to DSO and TSO. The second is uh, accuracy, where they, uh, there is capacity payment, uh, national capacity market participation, strategic reserve, and hedging the risk. Uh, flexibility can be provided to balancing responsible party to wholesale market uh, for their health optimization, intraday optimization, sales, passive balancing, and generation optimization. And finally, to, uh, flexibility can be provided to balancing uh, for the reserves that I mentioned before. Next slide, please. On this slide, uh, she's presented the time scale of uh, prosumer participation from years of system planning, energy efficiency, and adequacy assessment. Uh, next is the capacity and ancillary services uh, provision. And for the short term, uh, there is a participation on their head and intraday market for economic dispatch and scheduling and real time uh, participation on balancing market. Next slide, please. To, to be on balancing services provider, first of all, consumers have to take an uh, informed decision how to participate on this uh, market and uh, with which assets and to choose aggregator. The second step is uh, consumer site evaluation to uh, aggregator automation equipment and uh, contract between uh, prosumer and uh, aggregator and customer go live. Then the prosumer can uh, offer bids for balancing capacity and balancing energy to uh, DSO distribution system operator to manage the network, to balance the responsible party or to TSO to balance the power system. And as a result is the final uh, step, uh, this is the payments and savings for uh, prosumer. Next slide, please. On this uh, slide is presenting the information for, first of all, prosumer should uh, define the settings, uh, limitation of uh, its assets, and to give uh, access to control uh, uh, to be controlled by uh, aggregator. Aggregator take the forecast and measurement. There is a remuneration period uh, to purchase contract and provision the flexibility to balance responsible party, GSO for the network constraints and GSO to balance the power system. Next slide. There are many challenges on the provision of balancing uh, services for the prosumers. Uh, they are in four categories, uh, technological, economic, specific, and uh, regulatory. Of course, uh, there are solutions to solve uh, these uh, challenges. Uh, the basic aspects of technological are the 
Serial single day can be provided for lasting services. Therefore, we have a limited period, as I explained in the previous slides. Uh, duration of gases, open uh, re reactivation. This uh, can be solved by specific product for balancing capacity. There are limitations by power and energy. Therefore, aggregation is the better solution for such a set. Uh, the limitation of uh, related functionalities, of course, it can be solved by related problems for balancing capacity. There is real time need for real time monitoring and management, and for this, it's uh, needed uh, communication tools and standards and optimization. From the production process, food and service uh, is required optimization. Uh, concerning the power system operation, uh, for what of uh, synchronous rotary mass for frequency containment reserve, there is need for new technology uh, as uh, one compensator or star cones. Concerning economic, economics uh, challenges, uh, the main question is when participating in different market segments. This requires co optimization on the side of the consumer. There are some specific on the limits of the wide comfort, for example, air conditioning or water heating. Therefore, aggregation and optimization can solve this uh, problem. And there uh, is uh, regulatory challenges, management of facilities beyond uh, the property boundary uh, that require regulatory change and personal data protection. The same is for treatment of uh, reversing facilities. And uh, prioritization of the use of flexible services between TSO and DSO when the consumer provides the same service to the TSO and DSO. This requires prioritization, and of course, this can be done by regulatory change. And the final is a lack of business and contractor model that require regulatory change and common condition for all providers. Next slide, please. In more detail, uh, uh, technological challenges uh, are uh, needed for analysis of flexibility and uh, Limiting conditions, uh, definition of balancing products, uh, develop, develop, developing local optimization software, developing aggregate optimization software, installation of local registers and controls for optimization parameters, installation of aggregation software in balancing room, implementation of secure communication connectivity between local and aggregated optimization software, making secure communication connectivity of application software to serve and balancing market platform. Next slide, please. Concerning defining new business models, uh, the, the challenges are most of uh, participation, joint stock com company, cooperatives, energy communities, and etc. Target uh, fusion of local and uh, aggregated level is needed uh, according to market uh, segments. Most of financial resource allocation, contractor relations, general conditions, rights and obligations of the parties, access to facilities beyond uh, the ownership boundary, billing each market interval, each market service, data protection, and finally define in the regulations the minimum conditions on which the business relation, uh, relationship will be based to protect the parties. Next slide, please. 
so now I will jump to XLX uh, project uh, where there are four pilot sites. One of them is in Alpha Resort. Next slide, please. During the project, uh, we test uh, flexi flexible assets to top them a pilot site. Uh, boilers, battery, and biogas. You can see on this slide the uh, uh, manual frequency restoration schedule sent by TSO to Albana assets and real implementation of the, these assets. You can see that they per, their performance is uh, very good. Next slide, please. On this slide, you can see impact from some electrical parameters on the network, uh, high voltage, medium voltage, and inductive power increase. increase. Next slide, please. During the project, we perform uh, uh, 15 uh, tests, uh, 12 of them successful, the rest three were uh, unsuccessful due to some technical problems. And concerning batteries, uh, there is a limitation for sequential activation in the same direction, charge or discharge. Next slide, please. On this slide, you can see the energy accuracy and maximum power accuracy when we activated uh, boilers, battery, and biogas. You can see that percentage of accuracy is very good. Next slide, please. And uh, where are the assets of Alpena compared to other potential balancing service provider of manual frequency restoration reserve in Bulgaria? You can see that the boilers and batteries are uh, the same performance, uh, performance as the rest of the technology. Concerning biogas, uh, the the accuracy is not uh, very good, but uh, the ramp rate is uh, very good, uh, close to the, the speed of hydropower plants. Next slide, please. Uh, on this slide, you can see the impact on all other electrical parameters. Uh, the, there is a very small impact from these assets. Basically, biogas can impact um, inductive power and the battery during the winter period can impact inductive power because of uh, the water problem is very low and then battery can impact, impact on inductive power. Thank you for attention. Thank you, Stefan. This was really high level electricity information. Really, it was uh, very high technical. Uh, while we're still here, I would like to um, ask for if the audience has questions. Also, the online audience, if you have questions, use the YouTube channel. I have one question already from the audience. Uh, is it possible? for the aggregator to aggregate um, different assets from different balancing uh, groups. This is for Stefan. Yes, yes uh, it is possible. It is not uh, prohibited, uh, but uh, there is need uh, for amendment of uh, market uh, rules and uh, measurement uh, rules. Uh, to define this uh, business uh, process in order to protect uh, each uh, parties involved in uh, this uh, process. 
в Ледисно прохибище. It is possible. All right, thank you. Any questions from the audience here? Anyone? No? Okay, then we will move on with um, to show you how the XPLEX tools actually look like and how they work. Um, uh, and thanks to them, we have uh, all the possibilities to uh, for self optimization and to provide ancillary services to SO. Just give me a moment. Uh, maybe. Uh, Demeter wants to also share with me. <laughs> um, now we see here Serviflex, which is done for optimization of the assets. Um, you can add different assets uh, with this using this interface, and you can group them in different groups. And um, you can create here virtual power plants. There is possibility of uh, PVs, battery, electrical vehicles, uh, power to gas systems, um, and HVAC systems as well. We can see the profiles in these curves. And we can control the assets using the Serviflex tool and schedule control actions as well. The next one is uh, Grid Flex. We will see here how the Grid Flex 2 is uh, managing the local grid. Uh, this is the dashboard. We can see the active power curves for different time periods. The different. Um... <laughs> I would like to show something. Um... Now, uh, this is the Gridflex tool, and uh, this is something um, uh, in this picture, um, upper right uh, graphic, we can see why the, um, the, the consumption of the feeders right at the substation level. So basically, this is, uh, this is data from the transmission system operator, and based on this, uh, we are... Um, controlling the, um, the flexible assets like boilers and photovoltaic in a such way to prevent this consumption to drop and to because it drops because of the renewable energy and uh, we are not allowed to feed renewable energy back into the grid so basically whenever the uh, whenever the consumption drops we switch on boilers in order to in order to store the excess energy into the boilers and not curtail the PV production. So this was the uh, this is the meaning of this picture. Um, yes, on uh, then then we can see the aggregated uh, renewable energy. Uh, what is the percentage uh, of renewable energy into the into our grid? Mostly uh, during winter time is close to one hundred percent. In, uh, in summer, it is uh, lower because we have higher consumption. But uh, important is that, well, actually one of the most important things uh, about this tool is that we are allowed to install more um, photovoltaic. And in this way, during winter, we are, we are able to work with more free energy. Well, free means 
uh, not only renewable but only cost free so uh, we have enormous um, competition argument and advantage in front of our competitors yes uh, regarding the grid we can see the whole grid where the energy flow uh, which consumer uh, or which substation is consuming the energy right now in which direction is uh, the the energy flowing and this helps us to pre to prevent situations in which the local distribution system operator is angry with us because we sometimes uh well we we we, we have um we have supplied very small amounts and uh despite the fact that uh this lowers their uh, um, grid losses they are quite angry with this and uh, we are trying to prevent this such situation at all costs uh this is the reason why uh this tool is so important um yes uh now here we can see which um which cables and which um yes which cables are uh, very um uh, loaded with um with a large energy flow and uh, in this case we uh, we can or we are able to detect future faults in in case uh, the, the consumption is uh, bigger than the cable can transmit then we will see it earlier and prevent a situation in which a hotel uh, goes or is left without any uh, electricity here we can see the feeder of Gergana Gergana is uh, one of uh, the six feeders that feeds uh, energy to Albena and we can see the status now we can see the line of Kiev um, Kiev is another um, uh, line which have a threshold of 319 amperes so basically uh, the, 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 the point is to prevent um, problems in cases of severe weather or severe consumption. So, yeah, this is... Uh, it was all from the next year. Oh, yeah, okay. You can keep if you have something to No, no, that's all. That, that's, well, there, there's a lot more, actually, but uh, we don't have the time for it. So... Um, so now I will show you the last two, which is Marketplex. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. no. let, let, let's give it a second it's loading so basically uh market flex gives us the opportunity to nope okay <laughs> we'll not play like this the so we have to see it like this the problem with renewables is the grid uh, bec uh, because a lot of people a lot of entities want to supply a lot of energy into the grid but the grid is limited to to the physical constraints of the cables and the line so basically marketplace gives us uh, opportunity to um to give price to the grid cost so, uh, in example, if we have two hotels or two entities which are close to each other, um, and each of them wants to supply energy into the grid, then the cost for the usage of the grid can be variable, and the more efficient source of energy can afford to to buy more grid capacity in order to supply its energy than the less efficient uh, source of energy. So, in this way, we can put a label. A price label, a price tag to to the to the grid cost, and uh, this tool is very good, um, suitable for DSOs and local energy communities where um, uh, where yes the distribution system operator might send a flexibility request and uh, uh, see which uh, energy source is most efficient. Or well, we are not talking about all, uh, only about energy sources but also about flexible consumers uh, an example we would or we might want to uh, consume a lot of energy in this very moment but maybe the grid is already uh, fully booked so basically we might uh, send a bit and offer higher price for the grid 
and uh, prevent the others to supply in this uh, case. Uh, it, uh, so this tool provides uh, an efficient and very, very uh, transparent way to, to say which energy sources are more efficient than the others. So, uh, so that the final customer finally gets the lowest price of energy. Yes, this is about uh, MarketLex. It has a lot of functionality. Uh, basically, it's based on bidding system. So um, these bids uh, can be created also automatically or can be created manually. And um, yes, this is, uh, then those uh, bids are aggregated and can be chosen, uh, can be matched with uh, supply so that uh, finally it will the final result will be a, a power schedule for each of the customers uh, and for uh, 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 for uh, energy producers. Okay. I think that's all. Okay, that's that's it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone has any questions, we don't have uh, from the live audience so far. No. Okay, then we move on with the. Um, agenda now we will have a coffee break and a refreshment and then we will go to the boiler room of this hotel paradise blue and uh, afterwards we'll go up in the VIP launch where we can see all the solar thermal and the photovoltaic systems then uh, the bus will be waiting for us uh, and we'll go to the biogas power plant so thank you for joining us online. Uh, we wish you a good day. And uh, we'll upload the presentation afterwards in the XFlex uh, website. So you can follow us for more information. Thank you.